Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q2 of the weekly contest 234, minimum number of operations to reinitiate uh, a permutation. Um, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord so you can ask me questions about this, other problems, whatever you like. Um, but yeah, this is basically a simulation problem. Um, and I actually did it in a funky way, to be honest, um, because I probably should have just did a while through. Um, but I actually knew that this pro I mean, so f first of all, this is simulation. And what is simulation is just basically uh, just do this operation one at a time. Uh, I took a long time on this one. I actually ended up taking seven minutes. What the what is going on here? But uh, that is very fast. But that's because I, I don't know. I missed about to promise these are choices. I I need more sleep sometimes. Uh, I think I was very... Um, and it was a little bit off this contest because usually, I mean, this is a speed contest and usually I do speed contests pretty okay. Um, but I end up rushing it. But yeah, so basically, this is just simulating it one at a time. And that if this is, you go to the initial answer, which is the initial permutation, we return T plus one. Um, and I think the only thing that you might have questions about is that... Um, is that this may take a long time, right? Um, and I think, you know, I could buy that. Uh, but, you know, not knowing the worrying about like, oh, this can take forever. How do you, can you prove a thousand, right? Well, the thing is that, um, um, you know, the number of permutation is, and this is a little bit hand wavy, but it's roughly speaking equal to, um, you know, the components of the permutation cycles, uh, and there's some math on that. Um, in this case, you know that every, you know, you know that for each, um, for each number that's in the initial, uh, thing, you know that, um, Hmm, how do I say this? So you know that I I mean this is obviously like even without looking the function, um but because that this is deterministic, that this mapping function is deterministic. Knowing that this map function is deterministic, you know that for every, you know, say index before is equal to some index afterwards, right? Um and because of this, because that that um uh and in this case you know, and and the usual the the number of um, what I what we call like how many times before it loops uh, is usually you go to the product of the size of the permutation cycles. Um, and if that doesn't mean anything to you, um, it's a lot of math. <laughs> I'm not gonna go over it too much. Um, and that's obviously also a rough. Uh, and so it's not exactly the product; it's actually the uh, least common multiple. Uh, but um, and uh, you know, I'm hand waving a little bit. But in this case, because you know, we have these symbol uh, operations where this is just divided by two, and this is like this is almost like um, the inverse of the perfect shuffle, right? Um, so basically, like this is yeah, literally, this is the opposite of the perfect shuffle. And if you are aware of the perfect shuffle, then you, you know that. Um, you know that it's one big permutation cycle. Um, possibly, maybe, hmm. roughly speaking. Um, is that even true? Hmm. I don't think that's necessarily true, actually. Uh, because otherwise, you yeah, just have the same answer. But uh, but basically, you have you know this perfect shuffle, and and you do know that it's gonna uh, repeat at some point before n because um. Because the the um, because the components are all going to be like, you know, even numbers are matched up uh, because n is even. So yeah, um, hmm. So yeah, that, that maybe is the I don't know. I don't I don't think that's a great explanation. But in any case, that's how I that was my I think that was the intuition behind uh, the reverse perfect shuffle. Um, because this is basically the reverse perfect shuffle uh, and you know maybe you know you could look up perfect shuffle um, but um, but because that that is one of the things that you know perfect shuffle you do know that it it um, hmm. yeah so Yeah, so this is the perfect shuffle group theory that I was talking about. Um, I just Google this, and it actually turns out that you know there was a simpler answer, hmm, maybe. But um, 
but yeah, but as a result, um, you can kind of see that, you know, um, this will be in the idea and, and that it is going to be bound by N in the worst case. And therefore, I just did it N times. So I should have just did a while true loop so that I didn't have to prove it. And if it times out, I would know another way of doing it anyway. And this is Q2, so there's some matter about that as well. That's what I may recommend. But if you are interested in learning more about it, um, because the inverse function is... It's going to have the same properties in this case, anyway, as the um, as the regular uh, shuffle. So I would recommend reading up on the perfect shuffle, which is apparently also called the fairest shuffle. I didn't know that, um, but yeah. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Join me on Discord. Let me know what you think. And yeah. Um, oh no. Oh, oh, you and you can also watch my my how I solve this live uh next during the contest. Um but you know th but this is O of N and this is gonna be O of N ish. So it's gonna be N square in the worst case. Um yeah. Uh and in terms of spaces it's linear because we just have a lot of linear stuff. D depending on how you want to count we we allocating memory, but that's a easy optimization. Um cool. That's why I have this problem. Let me know what you think and you can watch me live next.
What? Oh, man. I am dumb. <clears throat> what? Hmm. Huh. That nap was terrible. Okay. Man, really bad right now. Yeah, uh, let me know what you think about this farm and explanations. This isn't really my final ranking. There's way more penalties because I just, I don't know, I ate too many uh, too wrong answer attempts. But yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe, and join me on Discord. Uh, hope y'all have a good day, have a good night, solve more problems if you like, or, you know, too many ACs. And yeah, to good mental health. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.